hope you guys are prepared for this because, look, are you prepared not to be entertained? Are you prepared not to enjoy yourself at a movie? Well, I want you to go check out The Turning because that's exactly what's going to happen. Look, let me tell, let's, let's just start from the beginning. Prepare yourself, guys. Chris is talking through the media is here, and I'm going to talk about and give my review, reluctantly, unfortunately, of The Turning. So what is The Turning? Well, The Turning is a film adaptation of an old novel called The Turning of the Screw. I remember hearing about it, never read it myself. Uh, let's, let's, let's read what the uh, synopsis is, basically. What's the basic plot of, the, of the, turn, the Turning of the Screw? A young governess is hired by a man who has become responsible for his young nephew and niece after the death of their parent, parents. A modern take on Henry James's novel, The Turning of the Screw. Now, spoiler alert. The difference here is this is a young governess. This is set in the 90s, which was very obvious right from the get-go when on the news it showed that Kurt Cobain had just recently killed himself. Now, we have a young teacher who is hired by a rich family to take care of these two children who are now orphans, right? Now, right off the bat, it, you find out that the... Our main, uh, our main uh, what, protagonist, what are we going to call her? Uh, Kate, played by Mackenzie Davis, who I like, by the way. I, w I wanted to see her in the Terminator. She seems like she's great. But I didn't get a chance to see Terminator because of the bad reviews, and I was hopeful for this one because she seems like somebody I, I want to look forward to, but I'm not off to a great start. Now, and then you have uh, Finn Wolf, uh, Wolfhand, uh, Wolfhard, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. You know that he's going to crush it. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the children in this movie were not the problem at all. Everything else was. I have never been so unentertained and bored and kind of figuring out the plot right in the middle and hoping to God that it's not going to head in the direction that it was heading into. From the beginning, you're, you're thinking, okay, this woman was hired to be a, a stay-at-home like nanny or a teacher, a stay-at-home teacher, to teach the uh, Fiora uh, character, played by Brooklyn, Pr uh, Brooklyn Prince. And uh, fortunately, it has to deal with the Miles character, the bigger brother, played by Finn, and in a haunted house. Now. Why is it that it seemed like this house was haunted and wasn't haunted at the same time? Because you're dealing with a situation where it's like one of those, is the ghost really there or is it all in this person's imagination and the people around are just making it worse right from the beginning? And I'm, I'm assuming that this is that guy who thought the groundskeeper guy who thought he was just the, the king of everything after the parents were, uh, were dead. And he was into some weird stuff and whatnot. So it's like, is this guy haunting the place? Is it is it the nanny, the 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 head, the maid, or is it just a bunch of BS that's just all leading into the the imagination of our lead? Because right from the beginning, you see that uh, her mother suffers from a mental illness, is in an institution where she's not really all there, and they mention in the in the middle of the movie, well, I hope it's not genetic, and I'm thinking, dang it, right there, boom, that's the, there's the cop out. How does how the hell does a movie set you up where it's all about a ghost, and then it's just really about a cover up and mental Ill illness? Where this damn movie managed to retcon itself in the movie. I had my chances to see the gentleman, and I thought, you know what, horror movies are on a on a rise. Well, I think this is the this is the turning. This is the only thing that's turning is the fact that horror movies are on a now are on a new downward trajectory. This is the the cause of for 2020. The turning is the turning point of bad movies coming our way. Who wrote this uh, this script? This adaptation of this book probably did the book such a disservice. And I want to know from each and any of you who if any of y'all ever read this book. Do any of you guys know about this book? Put it in the box and tell me what this book was about and if this movie, if you want to see it. Basically, I'm looking at my A, A uh, list app and I'm like, why are 
most of the seats for the gentleman on a movie that's only had word of mouth really pushing that movie. Why is the seats almost filled up and there's only like three people in the screen for that uh, for the one that I'm going to? Is there something wrong with this movie? Yes. Yes. Something was wrong with it. And the twist at the end was the turning of, 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 of my attention to the fact that this movie was one of the worst scripts I've ever uh, seen put to film. I could not believe how bad this movie was. The acting was great. The story, this adaptation, I'm sorry, from everything to, I'm not a director, but I feel like I gotta, I gotta look at you, I gotta look at the writer, I gotta look at it, I gotta look at the producer. What were you thinking? How, you had to have known that this movie was not going in a, in a great direction. And then you did a twist thing at the end that retconned the whole movie that you could have you could have put more emphasis on towards the end. If this was all in somebody's imagination and whatnot, then show her, that person that that person becoming the villain, becoming the, the the you know the problem. It didn't do any of that. It just ended. The credits were rolling when I was asking for a one, five more minutes of a damn explanation. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. They're going to explain themselves. It's going to happen. It's, 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 I, I, can, I can tell. It's, it's about to happen. Any, any minute now, they're going to explain themselves. And what happened? Nothing. Nothing. I wasted my whole time watching this movie. The turn. Go. No, don't, don't, I cannot recommend it. You can check it out if you want to, but you, you, you don't have my blessing. Well, that, that's my review, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Put it in the box below, and until next time, hey, I'm out.